All right, so today we're going to look at area and perimeter and learn what those two things are and uh, review how to figure them out. So we have some rectangles here. But no matter what the shape is, uh, perimeter is always going to be the distance around a shape. So if you're walking around this shape, that is the perimeter, and the area is going to be the space that the shape takes up. So you can see the difference there between area and perimeter and how they've calculated it. Uh, for part A, I think you're going to find something interesting when you do that. But let's go ahead to B just to go through this. You have a side that is four, so two sides that are four, and then two sides that are six. So you simply add those up and you can figure it out. And then for the area, we, I mean, you could go through and count those boxes, but we know there's a formula. If you multiply the length times the width, that's going to give you the area. Just be aware here that um, perimeter will be measured in units, and then area is always going to be measured in square units here. So I think uh, A and C you can do on your own. Here's a challenge for area and perimeter. So have a look at this shape. And the first thing you might want to figure out is how long is this side here? You can't, it doesn't show, but you know this is 8 and this is 3. So to figure out this side, you need to do 8 minus 3. So that side is going to be 5. Now, perimeter is going to be pretty simple. You can just add those up as you go around and figure out the perimeter. But the area of this is the part that's the challenge here because it's not a rectangle that you can just multiply. So I'm just going to show you three possible ways you could go about this one. You basically need to cut it into pieces to figure it out. So what you could do is cut it here, then figure out this shape, and figure out this shape, the area of both, and then you can add, add those together. Or you could cut it like this, um, and then figure out uh, one rectangle and the other rectangle and add them together. Or another interesting thing you could do is figure out the uh, area of this whole thing here and then subtract the area of this little piece here. And those are three different ways you can figure out the area of those shapes. <clears throat> so now we just have a few more here uh, for stories. And just to help you, I'd recommend uh, just doing a quick drawing for all of these. But uh, a rug is 9 feet by 8 feet. So what is the uh, area? And then what is the perimeter? And just remember your area will be in feet squared. You can write it like that. And the perimeter will just be in feet. Then we have um, Chrissy is going to make a big painting that is 4 by 7. So what is the area? and the perimeter, and that's very similar to problem number three. And then finally, we're talking about the school playground, and that is 465 feet by 285 feet. So you're just doing some addition all the way around to figure out the perimeter of that playground. And that is how you do uh, those problems on the homework. And this was... Uh, from Bridges Math 4th grade, and thank you for watching. Bye.